In this video, guys, I'm gonna investigate why does it seem that so many trading methods actually work? Hey traders, warm welcome to you. All right, so when you study some of the best traders out there, even traders who have maybe you know been in the game a while and they've got a little bit of traction and something's working for them, you kind of see that there's a lot of traders doing different things, right? Especially if you read some of the market wizard books, for example, you know, you see someone using this kind of strategy, this kind of strategy, and seemingly there's loads of profitable traders who are using different methods. And so you start to think, well, which method is right for me and which method works? Now, for me personally, price action was my go-to when I first started, take reading the short-term price action and developing into a kind of slightly longer time frame, but still using the concept of how price is responding, how price is moving compared to a level to make my trading decisions. I know that many money, you know, I appreciate everyone who sends, takes the time uh, to write those kind of stuff. Uh, but the thing is, is that you look at other people who are trading certain strategies and they're having great success. And you know, for me, I'd look at that and go, well, that's not really my thing. Appreciate that you're making success with that, but I'm in my own lane. I'm doing what's working for me and I'm pressing with that. But how can they then, how does that work for them? And then that works for them and that works for them. That works. It makes you think, well, what is it? So I started to think about this a little bit more and share it with you guys. And you can let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. But I feel that there's a, a theme that runs through this. Because in theory, right, FIB shouldn't work with Elliott Wave, shouldn't work with this, shouldn't work. These things all shouldn't work separately because they're all different price levels. They should be, in logical sense, one strategy method that works. But then when people are using multiple methods and they're all making alpha, they're all making consistent returns, oh, what's going on? So I think it's this. The one one, it forces you to focus on one thing. We talked about this a lot, but the laser focus on one strategy means that you're not dipping around to different things. I've never seen somebody go, oh, well, I use this for this, and then I use this for this, and then I use this for this, and then I've got a kind of this strategy for this, and an Elliott Wave on this, and a GAN for this, and then I use it. I don't never see that. I see people who have one little focus and say, hey, this works really well for me, and I just focus on it. I use harmonic, I use this, I use whatever, and they just seem to have it nailed down. And then we'll go a little bit further into it. And this is the key thing. I believe that it creates a reference point. So really, I think actually, a lot of people are trading price action without knowing it. They may say, I use Elliott Wave, or I use Fibonacci Retracements, or I use this. But ultimately what they're doing, I believe, is you're looking at a reference point that's created by the or by the, the technique you're trading. So whether it's an Elliott Wave, whether it's a, all those things, puts out a point of reference. And then people are watching price relative to that reference point. So slightly different the way that price, pure price action traders uh, like you and I maybe do it is, hey, we go, right, what's the high of the day, the low of the day, how's the price responding to the open, the close, the high, the low, swing highs, etc. levels everyone can do. People are doing the same kind of thing, but the levels are created differently. Levels are created with uh, their Elliott Wave or whatever, the Fibonacci numbers or whatever, and they're using that as a reference point to see whether price is strong or weak. And that's, I think, one of the big keys, guys. It creates a reference point, and then people say, ah, we've touched that, and we're holding at it, or we've broken right through that, and they start to frame the market. It creates a, a fra frame this trade in a cleaner way, because people then start thinking and having confidence in the strategy and say, hey, we're above this FIB level, or we've pulled under this, and they're referencing that point and price, and then creating a thesis from that. So whatever that reference point is, whether it's some sign of moving average, all those things that we talked about, and I have to say them every single time we, we reference them, but then it becomes, hey, how is price responding relative to this? And then they're making the decision. And if they're constantly using that strategy and that method, what they're doing is they're using that as a method to spit out reference points. And then they're watching how price is responding to those reference points. Whether it is a trend line, for example, people are using trend lines and saying, how is price responding to the trend line? It's broken, it's pulling back. Whatever the point is, that's the key. It's the response to it. So it gives you clear targets as well. This is a really big one, guys. I can't emphasize this enough. When traders have a clear target and they believe that the trade is gonna hit this target or has a good chance of it, you are far more likely to hold that trade. And we all know that the numbers ultimately come down to holding those winners, cutting those losers. We know that's the fundamental, uh, what we're trying to achieve, but getting there requires multiple steps. If you are comfortable with 
your strategy and your method, you will hold it. And the point is someone may have a fib extension, for example, and say, well, price will hit that. They will hold it to that fib extension. I might say, hey, price is gonna test the prior high and wick through X ticks or whatever, and I will hold it for that. And bearing in mind, guys, it could be fib extension, prior high, they could be in very, very similar positions. The point is that people are comfortable and confident with holding it for that extension. Whereas the person who doesn't have a strategy, who doesn't have a method, will close it when they see a profit because they don't believe enough in what they're doing to say, well, I want to hold it for that. You know, I've not seen, they don't have a reference point. And so when they see a profit, they're just closing the profit. So that's really strong as well, guys. Frame the trade, we talked about that. Very easy to frame it as well from a, a kind of a target perspective and from a risk perspective. Some person might say, hey, when it breaks this line, I'm out, because that to me looks like weakness. Someone might use an Elliott wave or trend line or whatever, say when it breaks this, it's weak. Whereas the person, and again, they're using price with reference to that. Whereas if someone hasn't got a method and the strategy, they're looking at this, they're looking at that, looking at the other, they're like, oh, but the trend line, oh, but this and that and the other, they don't get the conviction, the confidence to take the trade and cut the trade. And creating the roadmap. I think the clearest thing is, is to have a roadmap given to you by the method and strategy you're using. However simple or complicated that may be, and I don't know anybody who uses a super complicated roadmap, but a roadmap is saying, hey, you know, once we do this and do this, I expect this and I expect this, and this is how I'll come out of the position. And that then creates a plan. And that plan can be very different from someone else's plan, but we know that traders, you can make money going long or making money going short on the same day in the same market. You can have two opposing views, but if your plan is effective, you can still make money. Hey, I could be model makes the money from the opening drive, take it out of the prior day's high, I'm done for the morning. Someone else can be waiting for that extension to run out of steam and double top and fade it back to the opening price. Two completely different strategies and approaches, both making money, but they're using a roadmap, using a framework given to you by a method, and you're sticking to that method. You're not flip-flopping around, you're not kind of doing this and doing that, saying, yeah, but the FIB's saying this, and the trend line's saying this, and the stochastic's saying this, and this is saying this, and then you're getting confused and muddled. You're saying, this is what it is, I'm going to stick to that. And that comes with confidence of using that for a long period of time. Time. So guys, that's my thoughts, if you like, on why so many trading methods seem to work. I think some are more effective than others. I see other people having uh, you know, a lot of success with certain ones and not so much with others, but that might be just because of the circles that I, uh, kind of the traders that I chat to. You know, perhaps I don't speak to many traders who are trading some different strategy. Maybe there's a club of traders who are trading one strategy somewhere that are all doing very well out of it. But the point is, Whatever strategy you pick, and obviously I'm biased with the price action, I think that that's the, I think everybody uses that regardless, and it's a simple way and it's an effective way of, of looking at stuff. But regardless of the strategy and method that you choose, stick to it and let it run its course. You know, let it tell you where you're gonna come out, where you're gonna go in, and see then if you can get the conviction and confidence to stop overruling, uh, kind of triggers if you like, and signals, and once you get the confidence and conviction, you start to realize what works with that, what doesn't work with that, and then you start to become an expert in that strategy and that method, and then you start to see some progress. Anyway, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, thumbs up, appreciate it. Of course, check out our channel sponsor, links in the description below if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.